champions Fikri and Mulana from Indonesia. Up against the former world champions Aaron Char and Sowi Ik looking to win their first ever world tour title when contesting their sixth world tour tournament final. Well, as far as the men's doubles draw was concerned at the quarterfinal stage, we were down to three seeds. We had only started with seven, but three seeds, six different nationalities, good diversity in this discipline. Three of the four quarterfinals going the full distance. And as you can see in the top half of the draw, it was an all Indonesian fair with Fikri and Mulana coming through against the defending champions. And in the bottom half of the draw, the world championship silver medalists, Astrup and Erasmus and are losing out to the former world champions, Aaron Shah and Saul Eek. Well, as far as the race to the World Tour finals are concerned, there's going to be lots of movement in the men's doubles. Alfian and Ardianto, by virtue of their semi-final, will go up three places to number one. Aaron Char and Soe Eek, well, if they win today's final, will go up to number two. If not, incredibly, they stay where they are. As far as Fikri and Mulana are concerned, win or lose today's final, they'll go up two places to number seven. Doubles final from Indonesia, Mohamed Sugul Fikri and Bagas Maulana. <laughs> Mohamed Sohibel Fikri and Bagas Maulana. In their fourth World Tour tournament final today. Only won one title, that was the All England Championships last year. What an astonishing a victory that was in Birmingham last year. Well, the former world champions from Malaysia. In fact, Malaysia's first ever world champions in badminton history. Aaron Char and Sowi Eek in their fourth final today of the year. Never won a world tour title. Quite astonishing for a pair that have been world champions. Taking the kit back from the robots who brought them on. And I can tell you that this will be a fourth meeting between these two pairs. And if you're an Indonesian fan, this will be a little bit worrying because they've never beaten the Malaysians in three previous meetings. Not only have they never beaten them, uh, they have lost all matches in two straight games, including the last, which was the second round of the Japan Open at 21-12, 21-10. And it was only 24 minutes in Tokyo. Who's receiving? Speaker to receive. Which side? Left side. Good luck. So quite clear from umpire Daniel Wolf from Austria. What the choices were, we like that, that the umpire speaks loudly enough that we can hear the decision making uh, of the players. Who are both in the first uh, this and is Mohamed uh, Sohibal Fikri, will turn 24 Sohibul next Fikri month. 176 is 5 foot 9 and a half. The winner of the All England uh, they Open have been as high as number 11 on the world rankings. Total of three tour. weeks across Maybe two different spells. And this is their play. third consecutive Ladies Denmark Open. Two years ago, they were quarter finalists, but quite clearly, this is their best so far in Odense. Vagas Molana is 25 from Sila Chap in the central Java. And clearly the taller of the two that equates to 5 foot 11 and a half. So looking at their matches, well, they had the European Championship silver medalists in the first round done in the hall. Then the reigning world champions came from 8-14 down in that second game, saved a game point before winning it in two straight. Quarter-final was three games against Li Zhe Hui and Yang Po Xuan. And the semi-final against the defending champions, their teammates Alfian and Ardianto. That also going the full distance. This is Aaron Shah. He's 26 years of age from the ancient city of Malacca. 170 equates to 5 foot 7. And they did spend 16 weeks in total across two different spells as world number twos. 
semi-finalists a year ago lost out to Gideon and Sukumolio, who then lost in the final. So we Ik is 25 from the Malaysian capital of Kuala Lumpur. And 182 is the same as Abagas Mulana, 5 foot 11 and a half. Well, they've gone the full distance in three of their matches in the second round against the two-time beaten finalists here, Asan and Seti Yuan. And then the new Chinese pair of He Ji Ting and Ren Xiang Yu. Semi-final was three thrilling games against Astrup and Erasmussen, the World Championship silver medalists. The World Championship silver medalists having won the title at the Arctic Open last week. It looked to me as if they were a little bit jaded in the semi-final yesterday evening. I was telling you, it was Daniel Wolf from Austria, the service judge also from Ladies Austria. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Aaron Chia and So Voyik, Malaysia. <laughs> and on my left, Muhammad Shohibul Fikri and Bagas Maulana, Indonesia. Aaron Chia to serve to Muhammad Shohibul Fikri. Love all, play. So the former world champions, Aaron Char and So Yik, the far side of the court as we're looking down at the moment, getting this final underway. Rally to open the final. Brilliant. Well, three different Indonesian pairs have won four men's doubles titles here in the Super Series and World Tour era. And I'm sure Fikri and Maulana will want to keep that tradition going. But, of course, the head-to-head -head suggests that the Malaysians are overwhelming favourites to win this, but they've never won a World Tour title, Steen. Is this, one would think, is perhaps the best chance yet? Yeah, I, I don't think the head-to-head uh, -head is alarming for the Indonesians. They're only behind 3-0. I mean, Shetty and Ranky Reddy in Indonesia, when they were behind 8 nothing against uh, Cha and so... So uh, oh. that's positive for the Indonesians. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's a very good point. Because, of course, Ranki Reddy and Shetty winning the Indonesian Open. Since then, they have won the gold at the Asian Games and sadly pulled out of this event. What a wonderful touch from Aaron Chia. Three, uh, two. I expect quite a battle at the front court between Aaron Chia and um, Fikri. Yeah, I have to say, I've had the pleasure of commentating on Fikri and Mulana a couple of times oh! prior to this, this week in Odense. And I thought that they've been playing every bit as well as they did when they won the All England title yeah. last year. Coverage there. Four, three. Well, 
I know it's very, very early stages, Steen, but it seems at the moment your battle between Aaron Char and Fikri has been won by Aaron Char. Yeah. He started out better. Yeah, but as I've often said, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Yeah. Good play. Reaction. Yeah, that's very good play. Seven, four. Now we. Two. The tumble throw from uh, Aaron Sharp. Char is on fire at the moment. <laughs> we can definitely say that he's won the battle so far on the front court. Call the fire brigade. Well played. Good reactions by Fikri. to score the point anyway, the Indonesians. Well, it's a handsome heat lead. Five point advantage for the number five seeds, Aaron Char and Sowi Yik. there and there 
no one was covering the cross court whip defensive shot and no one was covering the drop shot. Yeah, same problem. Yeah. They've got to sort that out. Yeah, if, if he wants to go cross, then obviously the front court player should move out. But look, he's, he's the front court player is waiting for a, a straight attack. He, that's what he's covering. nervous to me. Yeah. So uh, a title here would be a tremendous help both to Molana and Fikri, but also to Indonesian badminton in general, who's taken a lot of heat um, yeah. in the media following the Asian Games. Yeah, that's a pity. Service yeah. Over. That's well done by Maulana. 16, nine. Managed to change direction quickly. Well, of course, with the Indonesians being unseeded, I looked up the last unseeded pair to win the men's doubles here. And that was only two years ago. Hoki and Kobayashi winning the Denmark Open unseeded two months later. They won the world champions. They were world champions. Nice. Those blocks from Aaron Chart, most of them played from a similar position like this, but also from the backcourt, they've just worked magnificently. Not doing too much about it, just guiding the shuttle downwards. Yeah. Lovely angle on the smash from Mulana. Get on the attack. Oh, no, no, it's too quick. It's played, and the Malaysians two points away from the open game. One point away from the open game. 20, game point, 12. 
An important thing for the uh, Malaysians that they are winning this first game so easily it doesn't really give any confidence to Fikri and Molana. Oh, that's a pity. Service over. That was a creative shot from Sowie. 13, 20. Opening game, 21-13. And Aaron Char and So Eek looking to be in tremendous form. And perhaps the long, long wait for a first ever World Tour title is not that far away. <laughs> Thirteen minutes only for that opening game. Pas ke tengah dulu jangan pengen itu dulu. Nah kalau udah nyampe situ, yang yang depan ini jangan jaga depan itu dia jaga silang silangannya agak-agak ke belakang itu. Jarang jarang dia flexi. Ya, jaga belakangnya. Kalau misalnya bola dalam banget dia aja yang belakang yang ambil siap. Ya, kalau misalnya bola udah lama banget, apa kata kalian? Ya, yang paling penting itu kalau kalau lagi bola jalan tuh kali si si Aron tuh sering bola sama kalau yang ngetes kalian tuh si 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 Song. Ya, si Song flexi, flexi kita tahu si 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 Song turunnya. Kalau dari mana ke belakang? Si Aron ni, kalau kalau bangga si Aron ni, tu pasti ya. Nanti kalau kita dulu, boleh buat apa lewat, boleh sekali siang, siap lagi lagi itu ya. Bisa nanti, bisa juga sekaru. Siap itu kan bagus sekaru ni tu. Tapi ya, yang paling penting itu yang paling penting itu tu. Ya, boleh ada terlebih itu tu, tapi pasti ini pasti so. Ya, terlebih itu tu. Maka ingat serangannya jangan tu pakai maksud bangun. Ya, tekan tekan dulu kalau betul. Sama siap kalau sekaru saya tak buka ini ajar ni. Yang kau nanti cepat di duluin, dulu yang yang belakang siap sarungnya. Kalau misalnya bola ke sini, bola ke sini, bola ke sini, bola ke sini, itu yang kau cek ke sini, di pancok. Hah? Bola ke sini ke sini. Hah? Oke, yuk. Ya. 20 seconds. Well, it's seven years since a pair from Malaysia were in the men's doubles final here at the Denmark Open. Back in 2016, Govi Shem and Tamwi Kiong won this title. Play. Aaron Char and So Eek are just one game away from their first ever World Tour title. I recall that tournament. That was just after the Olympics, and a lot of pairs had quit and suddenly. Go and Shem, uh, go and Tan. They were clearly the best pair in the world at that time. Yeah. One off. Beat Sara and Juan Puapet in the final. Good drop. Did Fikri keeping the rally there? Amazing defence. I was telling you that this is a sixth World Tour tournament final for Aaron Chara and So Wee. But the thing that's really interesting to me, all six finals, which they, or five previous that they've lost, and this one, are all at 750 or 1,000 level. Yeah. Yeah. Never been in a final at 500 or 300. No, maybe they don't play that many of them or not as focused. Um, 
Wow! That's a huge miss from Fikri. Yeah. As far as I recall yesterday, then um, So and Cha lost the first game against the Danes when they were playing this near side of the court. Isn't that correct? I think they did. And yes. Then yes, to the other correct. side where you could play a little bit more freely, doesn't ha have to worry about the uh, drift alongside the court. And that's where the Indonesians are now, so it's interesting to see if they can make a comeback here. I actually think they're one of the Indonesian pairs with oh! the better defense. It's not normally what we know Indonesian pairs from, and, and not the uh, sort of um, way, not the game plan, but, but they, they use it as a mean of survival, and I think um, that could open up for a comeback here. Tumble serve. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Excellent. Oh, wonderful from Aaron Sharp. This is a good run by the Malaysians, but they've been helped along the way by errors from the Indonesian pair. Struggled with COVID when they were playing the China Open. It's all week. China Open in September. Yeah, they were, he was sort of apologizing afterwards that he wasn't able to do more. That's a little bit of a crazy world that you have to apologize for being ill. Yeah, I know. Oh, this is extraordinary. They're just running away with this. This is six straight points. Indonesians seem in a panic about the game plan. It's, it's difficult for the Indonesians because if you, if you go player by player, Fikri, uh, a better net player, but, but Aaron is matching him, and I think Aaron is better than Fikri from the backcourt, as I think So and um, and uh, Maulana are the preferred backcourt players, but So is better at the net than Maulana. So Visara from Aaron Chia. <laughs> Oh! 
and the Malaysians go to the mid-game interval, interval with a five-point advantage. Exactly the same scoreline as they had at the mid-game interval in the opening game. Get ready. 11 6. So 11-6 the advantage. Service fault. Oh, service fault call too high. Service over. 7-11. I'd be really interested to know what the longest rally is so far. Yeah. It was in the opening of the match, I think. I think we had a terrific opening rally, yes, you're right. Going too fast at the moment for the Indonesians. That's what I feel too. I think That's why I mentioned rally lengths, yeah. because there's hardly a rally. No. I think the quarterfinal is over. where So and Cha defeated Ho Ting and Ren Xiang Yu from China. Helped them a lot. That was a super fast paced game. Taken by Mulana. Oh. Error on the flick serve. Service over. Yeah. Fourteen nine. Interesting. He was faulted the last time he served. So. And now makes it an oh. error Aaron on this serve. Uh, oh, well, they're challenging. Wipe the court, please. Wipe the court. <laughs> I have the feeling that's a sort of support, oh. emotional support challenge. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, clearly short. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 10 14. Play. Played a very, very good match. The former world champions. Oh. Oh. It's over. 11 16. 
Oh, he got back well to that flip serve. So we. Service over. 17 11. That's brilliant. And now the 3 0 deficit head to head is really meaningful because they've never taken a game of the Malaysians. Mm. Fikri and uh, Maulana. It's a little bit hard to believe for them now. Yeah. We're not even up to half an hour yet of the match. Oh. Yeah. It's over. 12, 17. Touch at the net from feet three. <laughs> well taken. <laughs> that was a bit of a 14, risky shot 18. from Aaron Chow there. Risked both his eyes. Oh. Two tantalizing points from a first ever World Tour title. 19. 14. Oh. It's over. 15. 19. Point opportunities. Five of them to secure their first World Tour title. challenge here I think they'll win this challenge and I think it will be their first world tour title they don't look like they believe it themselves here we go no it was just wide good call line judge no challenges left for the Malaysians in this second game They convert on their third championship point. <laughs> Aaron Char and so we. It's been a long old wait, but my goodness, 
wasn't it worth it? 21-13, 21-17. And the Denmark Open title to Aaron Char and Soe in 32 minutes. So Wojik, 21-13, 21-17. gesture by Ayona Miranat. Yeah. Indonesian coach. Yeah, congratulating the players and the coaches. Well, they've taken some stick in recent years, have the Malaysians, for not having won a World Tour title. They silenced the critics here today because that was an absolutely superb performance. Her first World Tour title in their sixth World Tour tournament final. And the former world champions. Well, I think possibly some of our colleagues in the media and in fact we've pointed it out as well that no world tour titles and it puts extra pressure on players when we point out those sort of stats but that was a performance really to silence all critics this confirmation of that scoreline 21 13 21 17 in a match a lasting 33 minutes. There's a lot of us that's paid to have an opinion of uh, players, but uh, there's no yeah. doubt that they, these two here, all four of them, they have high quality. Yes. Well said. Mohamed Sohibul Fikri and Bagas Molana. Well, and the winners. it's a breakthrough for them to be in their first in the 750 final. With a score of 21 13, 21 14, 17. It's from Malaysia, Archia Suwoyi. Her first ever World Tour title for Aaron Char and Suwoyi of Malaysia. Well, a tournament that they will remember for a lifetime. Whoops! There goes the mascot. Oh! Doesn't want to stay on the podium at all. Mascot.
Well, not only the title, but a very handsome cheque as well. 62,900 US dollars for winning the men's doubles. As always, you ask me if we could do it in Chinese, but uh, let's try in English instead. Uh, and first of all, you are world champs, but believe it or not, this was your first world tour title. Is it some kind of special? Yeah, I think it's really special for us. I think we partnered since so long, about five to six years, and we haven't got a world title yet. And today is our special day. I think I will remember always. Lovely, well said. I, uh, I do understand that, and I remember when we talked at the World Championship in Copenhagen, you said, if we win, let's celebrate after. It was a bronze at the World Championship. Are you going to celebrate this one? Yeah. I think, uh, <laughs> this takes sometimes for celebration, and then we are heading to French Open. Yeah. Yeah, there's not, there's not a lot of days, like you, don't, you only have a few days, but uh, is, is this a title when it's the first World Tour title? Is this kind of special that you just have to relax and just enjoy a bit of the time with each other. Yeah, of course, we are really enjoying the time here, and this is our first World Tour title, and we hope that there's more coming up, yeah. Congratulations, guys. Yes, and well done. Congratulations to the Malaysians for doing the interview in English, and both spoke so beautifully as well. Well, we've got one more final to come, and it's men's singles. Li Si Jia looking for a second title in two weeks up against Wing Hong Yan of China. So welcome back to Ordenza. The fans have been flocking in all week. I tell you, the stringers have been busy too. I think Anas Rasmussen broke seven rackets in one of his matches. Well, 
It is the last final of the day. It's men's singles and it's an all unseeded affair. Lise Jarre in his second consecutive final here at the Denmark Open, looking to win the second World Tour title in two weeks. He's up against the left-handed Wen Hong Yang in his first final at Super 750 level. Well, as far as the men's double, the men's single